Welcome back to the channel and thanks for having a look or thanks to the subscribers for subscribing and continuing watching the videos. Um, today's video is about continuing that 1 to 285 terrain maker build from GHQ where we've got the bamboo hut and two bamboo huts and two of the two-story stone buildings from the catalogue. And in one of the previous videos about this build, you'll see the the um, product numbers and all that sort of stuff. So if you want to buy them. So I've got two here already primed because we'll look at them in a minute. But I'll just move them out of the way. So last video we did the assembly. So we did the, the walls and the chimney and the little thatch windows and stuff and the roof on the beam cut. So next step for me is uh, just go back to the bottle tops again some old blue tack on top from previous build and I'll just give them a little push down on that and um, get them onto that so we can spray it same with the bamboo hut just push it down just be aware that yeah anything that sticks out like that you're gonna have a little silver bit so Try and get most of it under so we can spray them. So we'll give them a little bit of a prime. And the prime I'm using is the same as what I use most videos Chaos Black. So give them a good shake. You know, a lot longer than what I just did there because I shake them off camera so they're ready to go. And then I'll just go around and Oh, that didn't work too well, did it? Come straight off, and that's why the blue tack's getting a little bit tired on that one. So, I might change that and just put my finger in it. The, um, once the blue tack starts to lose too much stick, I end up getting rid of it. So, that one's just obviously had enough, so not a problem. We can put my finger inside it and give it a good prime. Now the thing is with these buildings, you want to get them from sort of this angle and this angle because there's a lot of little edges on them, and you'll miss some of those some of those edges if you don't sort of rotate around. You'll see here. I'll spin it around and you can see that. So from this way, that looks pretty well painted, and if we put it up that way, you can see where it's not. So. Get a good layer of primer on it and then I'll just push put that off camera just up to the side stand it up and then come over to the bamboo hut which is the same you're gonna have to get it from a few different angles good coat of primer I normally just do one coat one good coat so I'll put that off to the side too so um, they're primed up. Now, while they're sitting over there drying, I'll bring in the two others that I did. And the bamboo hut, you can see here is dried. So just, you can just see how it probably needs a little bit more touching up, but it's fine. We'll deal with that. In this building here, I want to have a gray brick pattern through it. So that's going to be the base for our actual color that we use on it. And I'm going to use Royal Light Gray 700. TS81 Royal Light Gray. So that's my color of choice for the gray on this building. So give that a real good shake. Um, if you're going to use a colour like this, they do work a lot better if they're shaking really well. And I'm just going to give it a good spray. And the idea is um, that's like the mortar, mortar colour. And after, when this is all dried, probably the next video um, on this build, we'll dry brush it.
um, dry brush it red to give that brick look. So there's a little gap up the top here. We've got that on one building, but not the other. So we'll look at that at some stage too. So that's just priming that. I'm not worried about the roof because we'll paint that a different color. And we'll put that one aside. And then I'll go to the bamboo hut. And the bamboo hut, I'll just take that rubber glove off. Um, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna leave it black, but we're gonna dry brush some colors onto it. So the first color we're gonna use is, can I find it? Burnt orange. We use burnt orange as the wall color, as a as the bamboo walls. So give that a good shake too. And I've got a palette here, so I'll just bring that in. I'll just put a little bit somewhere on that palette. And it's it is a is a very sort of orangey standard colour. Um but I think it'll be fine once we sort of uh, dry brush it on. I'm just using an old uh, no name paintbrush just from like a a junk shop like a crafty shop so I'll just get some of the paint on there and I'll swirl that around take it out do that again brush a bit out and then I'll just come across and I'll just I'll try and bring that up to the camera just brush it on like that a little bit more brush it on again you see how that's just starting to change that color so a little bit more, swirl it around a little bit. Next side. And I'm not pushing very hard. A bit more. Just work my way around. And you can yeah, you can pick any colour. That's just given that a little bit of a, a little bit of color as that building. Now what we're gonna do is we'll keep that in the brush already, what we've got, that color that's already there. And we're gonna to change to another color for the roof. And that color is here and that's brown sand. So it's a dark color and you can choose any colors you want. I'm just showing you sort of what I've chosen for this one. So I get a bit of that on the palette, same, exactly the same system. Get that little bit on that brush, swirl it around, and then I just go across it. I want to retain a little bit of that black. So I'm keeping some of that black there. And that's the start of our bamboo hut. So that looks good, as in for our initial colours. And of course, we'll weather that down a little bit more. So let's move that out. So that's that building started. So, and that's our primed, uh, uh, sorry excuse me, our grade building for that uh, mortar color that we want in between the bricks and then the primed bamboo hut and the primed uh, two-story building as well. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, plenty more coming up. We'll get another video out tomorrow. Thanks so much to everyone who's checked out the channel. I uh, appreciate it. See you in the next video.